What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Uh, just out and about, about to go and get something to eat. Um, it is clearly about the rain out here. Neither here nor there. I'm not tripping off of that. Still got to eat, right? But make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Um, we got some awesome things inside of the Patreon that you guys are going to want to be a part of, including the meetup. We also have an opportunity for you guys to get your businesses invested in. And then we got the entertainment and then so much additional information on how it is that you guys can level up. But the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys before I go into this restaurant, actually, I'll probably having a conversation inside of the restaurant. If it just so happens to rain, you see the, the thing up there, the wind is starting to pick up. Was you really? Yeah, I am, bro. What's happening? Was you really? You was just watching it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. What's your name? Meech. All right, man. It's nice to meet you, man. Thank you, my friend. Yep, thank you. But um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into the fact that there's never going to be a shortage of women that's available to you. Stop pedestalizing these women. And that don't mean that you can't value them. And of course we have to separate the difference between uh, ones that's for the streets and ones that's just cool and regular and chill. But reality, regardless of how it is that you slot them, y'all gotta stop pedestalizing them because they're just women. They're human beings just like you and me. I see you baby. A human human beings just like you and me and they're not to be looked at as anything more valuable than what they inherently are the reason why it's so easy for y'all to get finessed is because you guys keep pedestalizing them you keep looking at them as more than what they really are and they're nothing more than just human beings right when you approach them they regular no matter what they look like, no matter what they used to, no matter what city you in, they just regular. When you have a conversation with them, they're just regular. When you take them out, they're just regular. And when you lay them down, they just regular. And so many people are operating out of desperation. Here, I'm gonna be right back. Let me finish this video really quick. So many people are operating out of desperation that they can't start to see things clearly. And so, what you'll start to find is that because they can't see things clearly, they start moving a little bit differently around them. I see it when guys be around their homeboys, and then what happens right after that is they start acting funny when certain women come into the room, and it's wild. It's absolutely insane and incredible how people switch up and pivot. Even being online, we could be on a panel, you can be on Clubhouse, you can be in Twitter spaces, you can be in so many different areas and then people start switching up. When a chick that got a halfway decent Instagram show up in the room, then they start acting different, then they start pivoting, then they start having a completely different conversation, then they start sipping, and then some of the women that you know then hit you up and be like, hey man, you know this dude, he over here tricking, he hitting me up in my DMs, talking about what he can do for me and all of that, listen. I don't know what area y'all from, we all from different areas, but my OGs and even some of the rappers told me it's MOB. You know what that mean? We gonna use the, the PG version. We gonna say money over broads. And the reason why it's always money over broads is because money is something that you have to trade in your, your time for, because you got a finite amount of it but there's never ever going to be a shortage of women. I guarantee you. There's never ever, ever in history and life and any aspect of it, going to be a shortage of women. Hey Joe, bring your Is there ever gonna be a shortage of women available to these guys? There's never, never going to be a shortage of women. And so just relax, chill, and if you're going to be desperate about something, then be desperate about success. Be desperate about growth. Be desperate, desperate about the hustle. Be desperate about the fact that you need to network more effectively. 
be desperate about personal, personal growth. You know, all of those things that come along with being a great man. The women are going to be there. They're not going nowhere. As a matter of fact, as you continue to grow and as you become continue to become great, there's more available. The availability broadens. And so y'all over here, yo, have y'all ever seen um, you went somewhere with some people or you went somewhere with your friends or your boys or whatever like that? And it may be a, a bad chick at the bar or something like that. And then everybody is clamoring over this one chick. Like, <laughs> like she the only chick in the face of the earth. What do y'all live? Like in a small town of 300 or something like that? Yo, the world is big, it's vast. It's like nine and a half billion people on this earth or something like that, man. They ain't stopped making them when they made her. What are y'all thinking? Why do y'all act so desperate? I don't know. And even if you get played, that's the other caveat because people act scorned. They act like the end of the world is coming just because something happens or a chick switch up on you or something like that. Okay, so what? Keep it moving, move on. Learn from the, learn from the experience. Don't simp, don't get played. Don't put yourself in a position of, of losing again and keep it moving. It's that simple. Have a short memory, long money, and a phenomenal opportunity that comes along with it as being a man. Listen, when you realize that you a king, you stop operating out of desperation like a peasant. You no longer give a piss. You no longer care about what everybody else thinks. You don't care about what people are saying around you. You don't care about what women think. You moving and then whoever it is that's in your vicinity or on your, on your, on your page, they just move around you or they move with you. You start to find your tribe. You start to align yourself with people that's going in a certain direction. And that's the end of the conversation. But all of this extra and all of this, this desperation, it's crazy to me. Now, I know some people that's going to watch this and they're going to do what they want to do anyway. And I'm cool with that. Because the more men that are desperate and the more people that's simping and the more that's tricking, the more availability it is for the real ones. The more, the more opportunity comes for the other guy that she's going to call after you get done dropping her off at her crib and she got you listed as food. Think about that for a minute. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, I'm about to go over here and order my food, have a conversation with my wife, and then we're going to go from there. I love you guys. I'm going to holler at you later.